Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I will be talking and teaching a little bit about a kick that is very popular not only in the capoeira world but also in the tricking and the martial arts world. And it is frankly <laughs> called the capoeira kick. Most of you have seen it, most of you may have done it or may have not been able to done it because of its trickiness in a sense, but it's actually simpler than you think. And in this tutorial video, I will teach you how to do it step by step with other combos complementing that particular trick. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now for those of you who haven't learned Capoeira, don't worry, you don't have to feel ashamed or small about it. This tutorial will help you and give you an insight to do the moves without have to be learning the whole thing. So it is somewhat like a crash course. And may I remind you, before you start to warm up, maybe have a little bit of jog, do some push-ups, squats, or maybe pull-ups, anything that will raise your core body temperature up and prepare you for more bigger and faster movements. And also, less likely for you to make yourself or get yourself injured, if you know what I mean. So, get ready, warm up, and let's get to it. So the combo today would be this, a cartwheel, a spin, and a capoeira kick. It is simple as that. A cartwheel, and a quick spin, and a capoeira kick. Now, the selling point of this move will be the capoeira kick, but everything else leading up to the capoeira kick complements that movement. It makes you look sophisticated and makes you in a sense understand the essence of the capoeira itself even though you're not learning it or maybe just learned it for a couple of weeks couple of months but being able to do all these steps leading up to the capoeira kick creates not only a firm basic but also a well-developed movement and flow you don't have to be a martial artist to be able to do this move. All you have to be is a good dancer. You will get this move down pretty easily. The first is called the Jenga. The Jenga is a setup for this capoeira sequence or combo that consists of a lunge position. So you start from feet together and then go to a running pattern with your hand countering your leg. So it's similar like running, but put the arm in front of your face, covering your jaw. So that's where the capoeira stands, look like a capoeira stands. So feet together in front, and step back to the jinga position. So once you get the jinga setup start done, let's go straight to the next move, which is a cartwheel. Now a cartwheel is a very simple move. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, you enjoy doing it over and over again. So start from the lunge position or the jinga setup and step your foot parallel next to each other and drop your whole body down, hands and arms straight to the ground, lock your shoulders down and look to one target which is your audience which is in front of you. So set up from the lunge position, put the parallel, feet together and up use a small cartwheel it's fine in time you get used to it and you're able to lift both of your legs up now step two now the spin starts from a parallel foot position and step forward pull in your hind legs small and then open wide to the side remember this is unlike a boxing stance or a um, conventional martial arts stance where you put your feet on the back but here we focus on putting our feet side by side in front. Almost like a dancing spin, all you have to do and remember is to put your body in a small position. Make it like a circle. Put it small and then open wide to stop the rotation. And it's simple as that. You can add more rotation if you want to, but keep it in one, simple, tight and quick and stop again on the wide stances. Now step number three which is the capoeira kick itself, or we used to call it au batido. 
it can be pretty daunting, especially with the premise of you putting one hand on the ground and both of your legs flaring up. It is an imbalanced position. Let's not deny that. But keep in mind, you're not holding your whole body with one hand. You're just lifting it up and putting it back down. So the trick here is to practice by stepping backwards, lift your leg and put your hand down. Remember, palm flat on the ground and put your feet on the hind of the other leg and then lift them both while you hug your knee together. That's where you get your lift. Don't worry, do not be scared because you're eventually going down again. It's just a quick, fast twitch up to the air. Remember to hug your legs, hug your knees. This is where you get your lift from. Wrap this out by stepping back and lift, back and lift and drop. Now opening the legs can be pretty tricky and can be pretty scary, but all you need to do is exactly the same by stepping back and swing the other leg and kick, sort of kick your face in a sense. Straighten your leg and kick your face in a sense. Remember, stepping to it creates a bigger and better movement to lock it out. Don't worry, you're coming back down, remember that. But the essence here is to kick your face. Kick your face and put your hands in front of your chest, in front of your face, maybe in your jaw. Wrap this out by stepping back and lifting the leg. Remember, put your hands down flat flat all flat on the ground and that is very important if this move is still hard for you don't worry I have another trick get a sofa get a pole get something while you put your hand on the ground lift your leg as your other hand support you from falling down this can get yourself used to the motion of lifting your leg with one particular hand and as you get comfortable you can reduce the force that you put on the Support hand, anytime create the confidence for the kick. Doesn't feel like you're lifting enough. Probably your legs are not strong enough. You need to strengthen them. Simple as doing squats with a tension down, four seconds, three seconds, and then explode up. Do for 50 repetitions or 100 repetitions. That can strengthen your leg for this particular move. Remember, conditioning is key. The more complex the movement, the better that your conditioning should be. So keep in mind, the strength is not only from your arms, but also from your legs. Now if you feel your arms are strong enough to be able to propel your legs up and back at the same time with that fast twitch, it may be because your arms or your chest or your shoulders are not strong enough. You can increase these by doing push-ups. Remember, emphasis on the negatives because that's where you gain your strength. Do as much as you can, 100, maybe 120. That will create a better strength for you in the future. Now recapping the move, let's start from the jinga position, step back, put your legs on the side, hands down, straight and a cartwheel. Now stop, do a spin, stop, step back, and then do a capoeira kick. Remember to focus on the side, stepping on the side, widening the stance to the side, not the back. The side is the most important here, okay? It's always next to each other not behind one another so again step back on the side do a cartwheel then on the side pull in spin step back and kick and land that's it it's really that simple now remember to always look at one target and focus at one target legs on the side step back put it on the side do a cartwheel land relax spin step back and then kick kick to your face always remember that now i'm just gonna loop it out here for you guys to make sure that you can catch the transitions the pacing of the foot and how um relaxed and well stanced you need to be to open your legs to the side to make sure you are focused on going and stepping to the side not staying in one position and maintaining eye contact towards your audience or where you're facing will be the virtue for the smoothness of this movement so you have to make sure that you are 
keeping your eyes at one place and making sure that you are stepping sideways not diagonally or not backwards okay make sure that your hand placement and your eye placement are in coordination don't look down when you're doing the capoeira kick but instead look forward try to find your kicking leg that is aiming to your face that is a better goal for you to reach instead of looking at the ground if you look at the ground you're just aiming yourself to fall it is just not beneficial for you okay okay one quick tip before I leave to make sure your hand placements are correct when your hands are flat on the ground put them flat on the ground don't use your fingers don't bend them don't do any wanky weird stuff just blatantly put your hands down activate your shoulders lock them and look to one direction which is behind you shrug those shoulders activate those shoulders lock them up but before you land to that position always be relaxed not too wide not bending not trying to make it funky just lock out and straight now the final tip if you're asking how capoeiristas or wushu martial artists or maybe taekwondo people do so many kicks and spins and not get dizzy it's because they focus on one point of view you don't look left you don't look right you don't look the ground definitely not the ground you look straight to where your target is by then your brain and your eye don't get dizzy it's as simple as that thank you guys for watching get out there start training do cool things with this trick record it post it on instagram don't forget to follow me on instagram like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the like and note button and i'll see you soon peace out